when you prepare to walk out in the rain, but you're cold as F and you just have a random rat tail, right? Hey YouTube, it's Monday. So today is Monday, January 15th and I am 30 days, no, sorry. I'm 38 days out from the Arnold Amateurs, AKA my dream come true. So today's Monday, it's a new week, a new time to set goals for yourself and for your week ahead. Um, I just wanted to talk about your goals and taking action. So as you know, we all have dreams, we all have goals. Um, a lot of us don't achieve our goals because we fear what will happen when we reach that goal. I feel many people don't take the first step that is necessary to their goal because they just feel overwhelmed. They feel like their end goal is just so out of reach and impossible for them. So they just stay where they are, they resist change and just settle for the norm because they're not willing to take the first step or take a risk to make that change that will lead to their end goal. So you think of it like this, your goal is made up of 100 meter sprints. Um, you have to look at your goal as little steps. If you look at your goal as this huge mountain or as a huge marathon, sure, it's gonna seem impossible, right? So you have to break it down. You have to break it down into things that will allow you to feel accomplished in your day. When you feel accomplished, you're gonna to wanna to do more. When you push yourself every day to do more, then the end result ends up being your goal. So don't think of your goal as this unattainable, out of reach desire that you have. It is attainable and it is possible for you. So break it down, break it down into little steps that you can do each and every day that will add up to that big goal. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to say that. So if you're willing to take these little steps each and every day, you will start to feel successful at the end of the day and that's what matters most because when you feel successful, when you feel accomplished, when you feel you are getting somewhere each and every day, then you're gonna wanna strive for more. You're believing that your dream is possible for you. Um, so we'll try and think about that next time you wanna give up. Next time you wanna surrender because it seems like it's too difficult. Think about it, if you do this simple action now, it will create a habit and these habits become rituals and then these rituals will end up leading you to success. So I don't know if that makes sense, but there you go. So also today is day like probably eight in a row of work. I literally feel exhausted. Um, my lift this morning was rough, like I just had no energy. Um, but it's in the times like these that you just have to put your head down and grind. Like literally, if you start feeling bad for yourself or start thinking about all the reasons why it's going to be too hard for you, sure, you're going to have a shitty ass day. You're going to have a shitty ass lift because you're creating this scenario in your head of discomfort, of pity, of doubt. So you have to get out of that habit. Um, I personally struggle with that. Um, I create like a big scenario that doesn't even exist in my own mind and then I start feeling bad for myself and then I get really down. I probably cry a few times. Um, so I'm really trying to work on that and when I feel like that, those are the moments where I turn my mind off and just simply work. I refuse to allow myself to dwell on these thoughts and to create a scenario that doesn't even exist. Um, so maybe try doing that guys you just you just have to understand your why you have to understand how bad you want it and when you want it so bad then it makes everything else almost irrelevant you just do what is necessary to attain that goal and that's what i feel right now about this show coming up i want this so bad like like you guys don't even understand like it's already a dream come true and that's an accomplishment in itself but I need to strive for more because that's just who I am. So with that being said, um, I'm willing to do what it takes. So today, like I said, I had no energy, felt like shit, blah, blah, blah. I could have made a big scenario out of it and probably cried a few times, took a long ass time to finish my lift, but instead I turned my mind off, turned up my fucking music and got shit done because that's what is necessary and that's what it takes to succeed. So. 
Guys, put your head down and work. Just think about the end goal. Picture how you wanna be in the end and picture it as already accomplished and that usually ends up driving you to finish strong. So you guys got this, it's fine. It's all fine, right? Um, I checked in with my coach this morning. Um, it's hard because I don't check in like every Friday or every Monday. It's like whatever he tells me and lately it's been like every three or four days. So last week, I think I checked in on Monday. He dropped carbs by 15 grams, um, but everything else stayed the same. Cardio stayed the same. The four hit sessions, which end up being like 15 minutes long um, for the week. And I checked in on Thursday. He said, Kate, well, we're on the right track. Just keep going with what I said on Monday. So no changes on Thursday. And then today is Monday again. I checked in today. And now I'm waiting to see what he says. But I will keep you guys updated. And uh, then I have to go to work. So there's that for you. Anyways, guys, just understand that anything is possible. And think back like two years from today. Like, did you ever think you'd be where you are today? Like, can you even fathom the idea of what's going to be in two years from now? Our lives are amazing. There's so much opportunity and so much potential. If you're willing to take a risk and willing to take a step and get out of your comfort zone, amazing things will happen to you. So be fearless, be strong. You are limitless and that is my message. YouTube I finally took a shower okay guys so today is Wednesday January 25th and it's Bella's talk day so I hope you guys all hashtag that because mental illness is really a thing and it really hurts me because nobody knows if you're struggling or not and it's it's so hidden and a lot of people suffer in silence and it needs to be something that is made more aware of so people feel comfortable enough to talk about it because you do need help and you do deserve that help um, yeah so there's my little rant about that um, anyways when this is posted Bella's talk will probably be done but I hope you did your part anyways um, so I had my five and a half week out check-ins the other day I know I'm really behind in everything but <clears throat> So what happened was coach kept cardio the same. So we're still doing four sessions of hit um, times six intervals, which ends up being 15 minutes total, um, not including warm up, cool down. And he lowered fats by five and carbs by 10. So this is my second decrease in food over the last five weeks. So that's not bad at all. Um, hasn't really felt like prep because we've just been coasting, but the last two weeks, um, things have been dialing in and getting more serious. And this past week, with how much I've been working, I've really been feeling prep feels during my workouts. Um, they're, just, they're just harder, and my energy is just not as great as it used to be. Um, but that's because of working so much mixed with the intense training. Um, but yeah, so yesterday I also went for a massage on my day off, and if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know, um, I've been complaining that my delts feel smaller lately, um, I feel like they're not activating as well as they used to, so I went for a massage yesterday, and I told her about my one left delt, how it doesn't really come out as easily as the right, so she did a lot of work on my armpit, believe it or not, um, she fired up the lat and the delt, and literally instantly after that massage, I could see my Dell, like it just like came out. It was amazing. It's amazing how something so simple can help you so much. So 
I'm going to try and go for these massages more often because your body seriously takes a toll. Like with all the intense training, all the dieting, plus having a physical job, like your body takes a beating and if you don't fix your body, how do you expect to improve, right? And especially me, like I'm so cheap, I hate spending money. Like I, I'm the most non-materialistic person ever, like I will reuse the same thing a hundred million times, like I don't care, I don't care to have objects. Um, I spend all my money on competing, that's the only thing I'll spend money on. But anyways, um, so with that being said, it was a lot for me to spend that money on the massage, but it was truly worth it. Um, I'm going to try and go at least once every two weeks or once a month, like depending on my schedule and stuff. And also I went home after my um, massage and I, and I took an Epsom salt bath. I put two cups of Epsom salts and like my body feels amazing. Um, I've never, I don't really take baths because I hate showering first of all. Second of all, um, I just don't have the time I guess you could say but I took the time yesterday because it was my day off I relaxed put the salts in and my body feels great so I'm ready to train um, I'm gonna start doing these baths more often too because it helps with uh, muscle fatigue and recovery and the massage lady recommended it uh, I should probably do more research on that but yeah so happy hump day my friends and Let's do this.